Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. So 23-year-old Ohio resident Alexander Shepard posted on social media on December 30th of 2020. He wrote in part, quote, millions of us will be in Washington, D.C. on January 6th. He went on to cite conspiracy theories about the election. On January 5th, as he was driving to D.C., he posted a video on Facebook. And in that video, he said, quote, we're not going to stand for it. We're making America great again. And on January 6th, he complained about Donald Trump not sending in the military. And then Shepard was seen on surveillance video illegally entering the Capitol just minutes after the initial breach. He moved over to the Capitol crypt um, where he was taking part. He was seen on video taking part and pushing on the backs of other members of the mob. And then they were pushing on the police. So with that added force of all those people, they were able to break through the police line. So Shepard was walking through the building. He was pounding on office doors. He was shouting as he was walking through, making his way through the building. He continued to re record videos. He kept posting them online. In one video, Shepard said, quote, I'm here with some goddamn heroes and we just shut down Congress. They called an emergency session. They said we're too scared. They've shut down Congress. Let's fucking go. He was then seen in videos outside of the House chamber where he was yelling at the police. He was chanting with the mob. A short time after that, the mob pushed past this new line of officers and they made their way to the House chamber doors. So this is where Ashley Babbitt was shot. And the prosecutor says that Shepard was one of the first people to confront the police standing guard at those doors. And you guys might remember these were doors that had glass inserts. That's what Ashley Babbitt was crawling through was the broken glass. So he recorded Congress members through this glass. He was recording them as they were being evacuated. So he knew what was going on. And then, as other people around him were trying to shatter the glass, they were literally punching it, hitting it with various items. Shepard was screaming at the officers. So only after Babbitt was shot did Shepard finally leave this area. And as Shepard exited the building, which was approximately 40 minutes after he entered, he yelled, quote, they killed a girl for Jeffrey Epstein and communist China. Really? Um, no, no. They killed a woman because she was breaking and entering, because she refused to follow the officer's orders. You know, like you always say about black people, unarmed black people. Maybe if they had just listened to the officer's orders, maybe if they had just done what they were told. Anyway, following the Capitol attack, Shepard continued to post on social media. He said things like, quote, I'm fine with hanging Pence, to be honest, and I'm a conservative. And, quote, Mike Pence deserves a firing squad. In a November 2021 interview, which was posted on Rumble, Shepard said in part, quote, I highly recommend noncompliance with all these illegal and illegitimate mandates by the unelected Biden regime. Then in another interview, Shepard completely downplayed the violence that took place outside of that House chamber. He told the host, quote, we were standing there with the guards and everyone around us was saying, stay peaceful, stay peaceful. We're here to make our voices heard, etc." And then out of nowhere, we heard this big gunshot. And I was apparently just a couple rows back from Ashley Babbitt when she got shot. And there was no warning for Ashley. Uh, she got murdered, frankly. Total lies, total and complete lies. There is video evidence to prove it. So Shepard went on to call January 6th a false flag planned by the FBI. He said that the January 6th Select Committee didn't want to get to the bottom of what really happened. And he referred to injured Capitol Police officers as crisis actors. Then he actually had the huevos rancheros to say this, quote, 
they come in with all of these stories and all these fairy tales, but they never provide the evidence. <laughs> Is he talking about Trump and his election lies? I mean, <laughs> tell me again about the Kraken. Tell me again about all of that so-called election fraud evidence that you guys are going to show us any minute now, any minute, Mike Lindell are going to pull this election down. Going to put Trump back in. Going to reinstall him. <laughs> anyway, there's more because um, he was interviewed again in December of 2021. And in this interview, Shepard said, quote, while we were in there, even Capitol Police officers were there and nobody said this is an unlawful protest. You guys need to leave the building. There was nothing like that that was said. Really? What do you call having a, an officer pointing a gun at all of you? And what about those police lines that they violently force their way through? Shepard also said, quote, they were never threatened on January 6th by anybody. So they're acting like they were threatened. And, quote, I was there peacefully. Everyone around me was peaceful. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's unreal. So Shepard was arrested on February 23rd of 2021, and he was indicted on charges of obstructing an official proceeding, entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct, entering the floor of Congress and parading or demonstrating in a Capitol. But rather than taking a plea deal and accepting responsibility for his actions, Shepard opted for a jury trial. So in January of 2023, after repeatedly making verifiably false statements on the witness stand, Shepard was found guilty on all counts with the exception of entering the floor of Congress. And Shepard continued, even after his conviction, to do interviews and to spread false information about the election, about, you know, the media. He attacked the DOJ and the FBI. He claimed that the FBI, quote, doctored and planted evidence in his case. And in one post, Shepard threatened, quote, God bless America and God damn the traitors who stole it. Your time is coming. Surprisingly, Shepard had no criminal history prior to January 6. However, since the Capitol attack, Shepard was arrested again for a DUI and for failure to control his vehicle. Not only did he not report that, to his pretrial services officer, but he failed to appear in court for the pretrial conference for those crimes. So I will definitely keep an eye on that. I'll let you guys know what happens with that case. And based on the obstruction conviction for January 6th, Shepard was facing up to 20 years in prison, three years of probation, and 250000 in fines. The prosecutor, however, requested only 37 months in prison three years of probation, and 2,000 in restitution. U.S. District Judge John Bates presided over Shepard's case, and at the sentencing hearing, he said that Shepard sh continued to show no remorse, and he said that he lied on the witness stand in his trial. Shepard briefly spoke. He told the judge, quote, Your Honor, I just want you to know I fully accept responsibility for my actions. With that, Judge Bates sentenced Shepard to only seven months in prison and a $500 restitution fee. Utterly pathetic. It, considering the lies, considering that he refused a plea deal, I would expect seven months with a plea deal. But when you waste the court's time, when you waste the jury's time, and then you're found guilty on all charges, seven months is unbelievably unacceptable. It is weak. It is pathetic. This judge should be ashamed. John Bates has, as I've said before, he's hit and miss. This was a wild miss. So I have no doubt we're going to hear more about this guy. Like I said, there's that other charge hanging out there. Let's hope that they give him some additional prison time for that. Um, but yeah, I have no doubt with this slap on the wrist, it, this is just the beginning. I, I don't know that for a fact, but 
based on what I've seen from other January 6th defendants and with someone like this who repeatedly lies and repeatedly refuses to accept responsibility for his actions, I have no doubt. So I'll let you guys know. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can or become a monthly supporter. It really helps to keep the show going, and I truly appreciate it. Love you all. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.